This is Ed's Bed, and I am playing Beam and G Drive today. I have a challenge. If I take any damage on my vehicle, the video ends. I feel like this will be pretty, pretty hard because I, the way I drive, I like to push things. I like to push things a lot, and I crash a lot. So the rules, I do have a couple rules. If I have any damage to the body, that will be classified as damage. But if my control arm bends or if my wheel bends, that will not be classified as damage. Because beam and G drive, like even the slightest rock, if you just, even if you go over a bump wrong, it can mess up your alignment and it can damage your wheel. And while this is realistic, it can be quite annoying. So I'm going to not, not count that. Also, beam and g drive i'm not sure if that's the case in this update but definitely in all previous updates it has the tendency to randomly break the headlights and smash the windows so if i get any of those two types of damage as well the video is not gonna end i'm not gonna count that so in order to make this video interesting i'm going to be doing a police chase that way i can't just drive conservative around like utah or something and not push my vehicle at all that wouldn't really make for an interesting video and it will give me a goal so if i make the vehicle that i am chasing unable to move at all then i will consider that a success so i will nope not scenarios i will do free roam and let's do utah i like utah because the ai aren't that bad in something like the West Coast, oh man, they're awful. <laughs> Especially uh, right when you spawn in the default area, they'll just, like, I think that's called Chinatown or something. They'll, the AI will just go off the hill and then immediately crash into the parking lot below that. And there are so many other places in, in that map where they crash. Utah, I think, is also a nice mesh of straightaways and bends. Which would make for an interesting challenge. Um, I'm not going to go here because AI will just continuously go around in a circle through the tunnel. So I will jump back. I will cut the video to where I go to the default spawn area. Alright, so I am now at the default spawn location. And I have done the liberty to choose the cars as well that I will be using in this video. I have chosen the Picolina the police version because in my opinion it is the worst car in the game it is terribly underpowered <laughs> very hard to drift because of the short wheelbase and i am going to try to catch this pessima it is the stock it is the default beam and g drive included street tuned excuse me it is the beam and g drive included uh street tuned pessima so the car I am driving has a class of three and the class in the car I am trying to chase has a class of five. So let's get started. I'll add lights for a dead effect. <laughs> yeah, that didn't really do anything. <laughs> Not anything helpful anyways. I'll just keep trying to get this pessima Ooh, I almost went through that too fast well I, I managed to save myself though somehow focusing right now I'm I'm kind of close to him closer than I thought I would be he's gonna get some speed right here because it's a straightaway and my car is so underpowered I j I'm, I'm flooring it and it's only hitting 80 I mean yeah that that's perfectly good for for a car of this type but 
That's what I'm complaining about is cars of this type. They're just so underpowered. I mean the Beetle, which I imagine is... I mean the back looks like a Beetle, but the front actually doesn't really. The beetle is more of a rounded... More of a... The, the hood kind of pops out more on the Beetle. The lights aren't really right either. Okay, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. I feel like I went around that corner decently. I probably could have had more speed, but it was not bad. And that is one of the corners that I'm kind of afraid of. Because not only do you go up on an incline, but it also gets a lot sharper as you go through it. My uh, engine is struggling here. I can hear it. <laughs> I'm only at. Uh, I'm. I'm just getting up to 4,000 RPM. And my engine temperatures are through the roof. It looks like. If you look at my gauge cluster in the, the bottom corner, you can see that. I don't, I don't think there is any gray area for that red temperature line. All right, this is a hard, hard corner. It becomes very, very sharp as I go on. Yeah, I, I had, I had to do that slow. I had to do that slow. Whoa. Okay. I thought, I thought I had too much power there, too much speed. But no, I'm fine actually. I definitely feel like I am gaining, gaining on him. Ooh, this is a good opportunity to cut the corner. I had a bit too much speed for that, but I'm still with him. I'm still with this Pessima. Ooh, he looks to be going a bit too fast there. Yeah, yeah, he was. All right, I am, I am up with him now. For the first time ever, I'm like, Right on his pepper. Oh man, he's starting to get distance from me again. I'll just keep cutting corners, I guess. Bit of a drift there. Alright, this is a nice wide area. I am right on his tail now. Oh, those bushes actually slow you down. I did not know that. Alright, I'm gonna just keep trying to be on his tail until I get to that curve over there and then I'm gonna pit him. No! Oh man, he out, outran me. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! No! 